Hey everybody, Solar coming to you guys with part 6 of our Ratchet Deadlock playthrough. In this episode, we will be doing the Crusader Tournament back at Dread Zone. So the last episode, we got most of the stuff done in Planet Orkson. We have a few challenges left to do, one of them being... Oh, cutscene. In a world where dreams come bigger than life, and passions run wild in the streets. <laughs> baby, I... I'm not your baby. One psychotic killing machine dare to reach for the stars. This holiday season, Vox Entertainment brings you the heartwarming true story of one exterminator's rise to glory. From lowly beginnings as a high school math teacher. But, but, but baby, I'm giving these kids the gift of learning. You're pathetic. Get out of my sight. To spectacular success as a homicidal sports superstar. We're rich. I love you, Reactor. I was always there for you. Share the dream. Live the legend of Reactor. Sure. Courtney Gears definitely isn't a friggin' um gold digger. Nope. Robots can be gold diggers, apparently. Hey, Ratchet. I know you're big. Yeah, yeah. A few bought upgrades. Oh, we can get the mini turret launcher. So we'll grab this. And we can also grab the morphing mod. Oh, hang, hang on. We can also grab the wrench upgrades. Hurting, but I have a new oh, yeah, I can't check you. weapons. The bot upgrades really aren't useful because a lot of challenges require you not to use your bots very much. So, the Crusader Tournament. All right, Anyways. Fans, prepare for the ultimate oh. showdown as Team Darkstar fights their way through the Crusader Tournament. I also don't have a weapon. Also, they look kind of like mini reactors. Die, mini reactor. Wait, what? what killed you? Oh, you? Man, they keep hitting me, man. Can you guys stop hitting me? Replay mines. I died because the whole throwing wrench thing. Wait! They didn't let me have my weapon. That was a glitch, game. I wasn't allowed to use this weapon, because I'm like, mines? This challenge should be like a thousand times easier, because you can literally just spam this weapon. Ratchet, there are additional gadgets available on your secondary quick Yeah, I can't use them right now, there, Clanker Doodle. So I don't know what you're talking about, homie, but yeah, sure. Also, what is the skill point that we need to do? Uh, for Reactor, not Eagle Eye. Can't do that one, can't do that one. In 30 seconds? Oh god, I hope we can beat that. Die, 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 die. Oh, I thought I killed it. No, it's getting away. Did it get away? Oh, I think we killed it. Oh, the Needlebacks. I think they're called Needlebacks. Fire in the hole, man. Oh yeah, if the mines stay up, you don't get the ammo back, by the way. They take a while to... Like, spawn back if you, uh, don't get rid of them entirely. Ooh, level 6 with an ammo mod. Nice. Now we have a total of 16. Already, fire! I had a glitch for a while where this thing didn't have, like, half as much range as it was supposed to, like, when I played through this my second time. Because I deleted the game right before I got the, uh, the Platinum because I didn't have a PS3 anymore, and, uh, yeah, so, I had to re-download it just to get, like, three trophies. Or was it because it changed accounts? It might have been because it changed accounts. Oh, holy Toledo Bolito. So many enemies. So little time. Ow, there's a, oh, was, oh, oh, we don't actually have to kill everybody. Sweet. Nice. Oh, this one. I hate this challenge. This time, Ratchet is let go. Doomed. We've wired his red zone collar to four control nodes placed through the arena. If he can't stop their countdown in time, the I'm gonna just use this to level it up as much as possible for the boss day. fight. Oh, well, I didn't really level it up much. So yeah. The point of this is you gotta go on these like coil things before you die, essentially. Nothing nothing fancy, nothing you haven't seen in a Ratchet and Clank game before. And yeah, see if you jump on top of them, you kinda just slide over them. 
But if you run into them, they'll explode. Oh, here we go. Got some more of you guys. Let's see if we can level up this weapon. Wow, that. Hey guys, go. Grab that. Krakatoa. And there we go. Level 7. The speed mod. And 1400 damage now. Still not enough to kill an executioner at one hit. But the enemies do get stronger as you go through the game. They don't actually get weaker. If you go back to the old areas, then you'll, like, you know, kill them easily. But not in the uh, higher up areas. I think I clicked regroup and said, is that a Leviathan? Weird. Can you guys, like, actually do what I'm telling you to do? Thank you. Oh, just some little gibble freaks. Who shot me? You. Alrighty, and that opened up this pathway. Radio, homios. Let's jump. Yip, yip, kaye, yip, 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 kaye. Oh, I think this is where you can get the um, barrel thing done. Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not where you can get the barrel one done. Huh. Thought you could. Hey, buddy, what are you doing up there? And there we go, challenge complete. Then that wasn't 15 barrels. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Reactor! Ratchet, huh? <laughs> you look like a squirrel wrapped in tinfoil. I'm gonna take my time taking you apart. I'm gonna give my fans their money's worth. And uh, try not to go crying or anything, all right? I want this to look good for the camera. Already, you want it to look good? Die, Reactor. I honestly forget what he even does. Like, he's kind of a mediocre boss fight, honestly. He's kind of like one of those weaker dudes. I thought the napalm wasn't sticking to him for a second. Now, let's see if we can just gun him down with this quickly. There, did we get it? We unlocked Crusader! And we didn't get it because our weapon's not strong enough, sadly. We unlocked the Valix Belt. And Planet Torval. Wait, it didn't give us our armor. Why didn't it give us our armor? Um, game? What kind of weird glitch was that? Anyways, we'll see if there's any more challenges before we continue on. Because we've already been at it for seven minutes, so we might as well see if there's something else we can do. Radio zombie attack! Perfect! Also, I'm pretty sure this is the one where we have to blow up the barrels. Zombies! Yes, because if you notice, they also drop barrels here. And we also gotta kill enough zombies in a quick enough, or not quick enough, there we go, the bomb. Might as well level up some of these weapons that are a little on the lower side. Alrighty, homies. You guys wanna be blown up? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Whoops. Alright, dual viper time. Let's go. I actually really like the dual vipers for like your basic weapon. Probably my favorite basic weapon out of any Ratchet and Clank game. And yes, I will be doing a future series as it was voted for. I just gotta, uh, you know, finish this game because I'm not done the voting session yet, so yeah, it's gonna be a little while. And we unlocked an ammo one and seven more base power. That's pretty solid, eh? Hey, wait, I just realized there's the Dread Zone soldiers in here too now. Also, this weapon levels up slower than most of the weapons in this game, sadly. Anyways, let's use this. Oh, this is the one that we already used. Oh yeah, it's gonna start raining, um... those now. There we go, dead again. Only worth 400 volts, really? Well, because these ones are technically early game challenges according to the game, so it's like, yeah. Man, I wonder how many enemies we're gonna get killed in this level. I still just burn through this so it stops appearing on the freaking floor. 
Everyone's dying today. Hey, E6 Obliterator, not bad. You can actually just technically wait it out. Also, it wouldn't let me shoot my gun. Uh, these executioners over there are getting annoying now. Fire in the hole. Ow. Hey, zombie num nuts, get out of here, man. Oh yeah, blow everybody up. It's also good to kill a lot of enemies because they do give you a lot of, um, bolts. And we completed the challenge. Now I think that's all that's left of the boss challenges and Eagle Eye, I'm pretty sure. Now we have Heavy Metal, Large Gigantic Enormous. Gets to fight it right now, what? Oh, this thing. This is like an EMP blast challenge, challenge is. which is really hey, weird. Oh, uh, I can't read that. Who's right these cues, huh? Oh, look, there's a typo. There. So all you gotta keep doing is my lunch? I'm hungry. What are you EMPing doing these there? things, which makes no sense in all honesty, like what you're actually doing. Cause it's an odd mission. Oh, and this is one of those ships that likes to actually attack you. Now we can EMP again. Oh, Leviathan. Pretty sweet. Needle back to... Oh, we can actually one-shot the needle back, guys. There's a challenge later on. I think it's on one of the planets we unlocked, Torval, where you actually have to kill those guys. Still don't have enough power, though, to destroy those in one shot, sadly. I need some of this... Oh. Another one of you. Yeah, once again, the music sounds a lot like Spyro. I think it's Spyro 3, it sounds like. Yeah, it's like Molten Core or whatever it is. Molten Crater, that's level. Molten Core is from World of Warcraft. And technically came after Molten Crater did. Death to you. Death to you. Oh, and we unlocked an ammo mod, and I think we're at like, what, 1550? Yeah, 1550. Oh yeah, see, there's the EMP things that you gotta watch out for. Uh, later in the mission, they kind of, um... Change. There we go. Nuke everybody, please. I think you only lose if, uh... They all go off at the exact same time. There we go. Boom. 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 EMP that for me, please. EMP that for me. Rightio, homios. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's weird. Can you guys, like, actually EMP everything, please? Oh, laser backs. Which is really weird, because not really much of a laser back. And we beat it. Nice. And did we not get it? Hang on. I don't think we got it. Just dumb. End zone. Oh yeah, this one. This is kind of one of those ones where you want to use. Hang on. So what you want to do for this one is you want to switch this one to shock again. To win, Ratchet must prevent swarms of charging enemies. So then you electrocute them, and boom. Ow! I don't know how I took damage from him. Sometimes those guys get BS hits. You gotta last a long time. Like, these challenges are all just time-based, man. The ships won't stay, so you don't have to worry about them. It's more like the little ankle biters that you gotta watch out for. Because they can be a pain. Other than that, it's actually not that bad. Like, look at this. It was the worst thing about this mission is the slower, and we got to level 7 with this. Ooh, next level I have 200. It's gonna finish off at, like, what, 240 or 260 damage, which is gonna be really weird. His weapons get up to rank, or level 10, and then after that, they kind of, uh, you have to beat the game to level them up again. Like, as per every Ratchet Clank game, including, like, the original with the gold weapons. Like, but who's gonna play again? Especially when there's nothing to really do. Oh, we got Big Boy here now. Oh, Big Boy's dead. That's good. The worst part about this slowdown is it makes the time go slow, too. We're killing a lot of enemies, though, which is pretty sweet. There we go. Honestly, you can just sit up here if you have the shock mod on. 
Look at these guys just drop like flies. Oh, we can also kill you. Boom. Zappy zappy. Oh my god, he's back. Just when you thought he wouldn't go away. Or just when you thought he went away for good, he's back. There we go. Man, we might actually get this to level 8. Like, look at that. You can actually physically see the experience bar go up every time you shoot a wave of these. And they're just the baby enemies that get the least experience in the entire game. There they all go. Oh, we missed these guys somehow. Hello, everybody. I think it's the electricity. Oh, we got a Leviathan here now for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, dude. And level 8. Just give us another ammo mod and 200 damage. This is usually the first weapon I level up because it's so good. And man, we're still at a minute left because of how long this is actually taking. It's taking over the actual allotted amount of time that we need to beat it in or withstand. There should have been a skill point for doing this one without uh, losing any of your time. Because it's actually easier said than, or actually easier done than said. For once, something's actually like that. So I noticed they got rid of the executioners for the leviathans now. I don't think we're gonna level this weapon up again, sadly. As much as I'd like to, I don't think it's possible. Zappy Zappy. Zappy Zapparino. Oh, we got 20 seconds left. Yeah, this is the longest, like, couple minutes of my life, man. Boom. More Zapacosta. Even more. Did we buy the Morph Mod? I don't think we did. I know we bought the Miniature Launcher and the Wrench Upgrade. But I don't even remember, man. All these guys can die. Yeah, it's taking a long time for this weapon to level up now. And now it speeds up at the very end, really? Woo. And we're done everything here. Now. So, honestly, we can go do a challenge or two. Uh, in one of the other areas. Oh, never mind, we got it. We can buy the mini bomb. Which then we can put the mini bomb. I like the mini bomb on this one. There it is. And then we can put the morph mod on this one because it's actually not that bad. So anyways, let's go here. <laughs> Traverse the Valix lighthouse to activate the gamma energy beam. Now I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that actually requires us to use the brainwash mod. Exactly. Range strikers without taking any damage. So, we'll do this one. This one, I believe, is fairly short and easy, so we'll go check out this one. I know there's a cutscene now, since we're in another part of the game. I guess not. The Valix Belt. Right. Also, we got... Oh, wait, no, we needed the Brainwash mod, not the Morph mod, right? Right? That was that was the skill point, right? Yeah, we didn't have that one yet. Never mind. So we might as well use the scorpion flail. Since we need to kill fifteen en or fifty enemies with it, pardon me. Boom. Oh, alrighty then. You dare block my path, sir? This missile's kinda like floated around and hit my bot in the back. That's so polite, man. Oh, hang on, senors. Got another one of those dudes. There we go, perfect. As long as you guys don't die, we should be fine. Uh oh. There we go. Just don't want to take damage. If at all possible. Oh, hang on, we got a mini uh, dropship here. Oh, and it spawned Big Boy! Oh, and we leveled it up. The level fours. My. Actually, it does a lot of damage for a melee type weapon, though. Now, careful if you use the scorpion flail on these, you could actually fall off. It's a weird. 
Remember how I said you could fall off? Yeah, about that. You could fall off, and I did. Boom. Now, there is another wave that comes up. Just like that. Oh, hang on a second. You know what? Let's use the Arbiter here. Mini bomb. And my robot died. Sucks to be you, buddy. Now, wait, is the skill point kill 50 enemies in a row with it? Or. No, it's just kill 50 enemies. Never mind. Not as, uh, you know, cumbersome as some of the other challenges can be. Oh, this one actually goes over us, so we can abuse it like that. Ugh. Nice. Perfection at its finest. Ow, and we took damage, so screw that challenge, goodbye. Just die, dude. I just realized this weapon only has 25 actual ammo. Yeah, see, you, you kind of slide on here. Cycloids, man. They're a little scary to deal with. So how come we don't have 50 enemies yet? I feel like we've killed 50 enemies, man. Like, look at all these enemies. There we go, medieval power. Now it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, confusion rifle, pincer rays. Oh, that's the flying one without using any health crates. Kill nine enemies with three different mods in 30 seconds. Kill 20 enemies using the mini turret launcher. Okay, so if we press square, we now have the mini turret launcher. We'll see if we can um, do that. Oh, never mind. There we go. The mini turret launcher here is actually pretty strong. It's probably one of the best mini turret launchers in the entire game. Or in all the Ratchet and Clank games. Fire in the hole, little dudes. Ow. Kill them all. I don't care that you're actually dead, but sure. There we go. Alrighty. Fire. How would you know that? And there we go, we leveled up to level 2 with the speed mode. I actually don't really care for how it looks, though. Turret Syndrome! Yeah, there we go. Boom. Goodbye, dropship. And goodbye, dropship. And goodbye, other people. Oh, I almost fell off the cliff. Mix and match, we got that one done. Man, this weapon fires so slowly. Let's crank it. Oh, you know which one you can get the no health crate one on? The uh, hover ship mission, which I think is what 90% of this level actually is. And there we go, we completed the challenge and got three skill points for it. Nice. Space Ace, destroy all the enemies. You should just say this. Now, these. These are the piercers that they say to kill with the thingy majigger. Have to clear the area of all enemies Die. before he can land. So you just gotta kill them. They do respawn, so you know. Fire and all. Did that enemy just like kamikaze off the cliff? That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> ah, ah. Just gotta keep an eye out for when we see more of those uh, piercers, sky piercers, whatever they're called. A lot of games have things that are called that. Like these little aerial type enemies that can kind of just fly throughout the air. Like some of those enemies just get launched into oblivion, I swear. So why aren't any of them spawning back yet? Also, why is it, like, right to go up and left to go down? It just doesn't feel right when you're playing this. No, we got you guys over here trying to be cocky and shoot me. Yeah, no, we're not having that today. Ow. Dude, just bugger off. Oh, there we go. Fire! What's shooting me from... Hey, you. And we got more enemies down here, apparently. 
like Big Chungus and Little Chungai. Dude, I'll get off the comms, man. I don't care about you. Ratchet, is this a bad time? I can't find my Captain Core Tearless Shampoo and Conditioner. And I believe you were the last one to use it. Yeah, bruh. I swear I had seen some of those gray thingy jiggers. There they are. I thought I had seen some. Burr. Did we get it yet? Sometimes it just doesn't like to show up. What? Where is it? Oh, yeah, never mind. For some reason, it just didn't like to show up, and it's like, oh, okay, that's confusing, but thank you. Dude, you're dead. Anyways, there's nothing left we can do here, so we gotta continue on. So these guys that are just kinda- hey, cameras! Oh, your cameras are busted up. Thanks for the memories, dude. Thank you for the death and despair of my other friends. And last but not least, this little cluster of enemies. Healthy, there we go, perfect. Nice. Now we have power up, hack the power station orbs. All right, oh, you can actually get the brainwash mod. And the best one to get the brainwash mod on is honestly the weakest weapon in the game. So, what? What? All right, we'll take down the big boys here. But first, you'll need to activate power stations at the north and south ends of the asteroid ring. Righty, I didn't know I was in a power station. Ratchet, you are but whatever. Power station. You must locate four. Here, you guys, hack the orbs, please. Power up the station. There we go. There, yeah, see what the brainwash mod does is they just shoot each other. And they have to die. Too bad, so sad. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go with the disease. Nice. Now we can just use the mini turret launcher here to finish them off as much as humanly possible. Nice! Oh, hang on a second. There we go. Oh, he died to that guy, so sweet. I mean, I seen you up there. Ow. Wow, there they are. It definitely doesn't save right on my mini map where they are, dude. Security orbs. Hack them, and you will have the North Power Station up and running. Oh yeah, that double kill was beautiful. Wow, you guys already hacked it. Nice. And I'm pretty sure this is the ending. Yeah, so that's kind of funny. Ow! Just don't die at the ending, dude. Oh, hang on a second here. Ah, oh, we didn't get it because we needed to kill one more. We can actually do that on this one. Oh, what did we do? Oh, the light. Nice. Need a drink while we wait for this cutscene. Nice. Six skill points. Let the light shine through. Turn bolt at station. Amazing. Okay, Dreadzone. I think there was like one with kill we'll in a row, a right? And reactivate the gamma energy beam. Was that the one I was thinking of? The one where you had to kill the psychroids? Uh, in a row. Use the f I kill two enemies. No, that's not what I meant. Kill 13 psychroids. Psychloid. Psychroids? Psychloids? With the same weapon. So, what I recommend is just use this because it's super strong. 
And for some reason, the jump button refused to work. And for some reason, it's now on that. Right. Come on, I need to roll something. There we go. Beautiful again. How come I didn't get that earlier? I think I would have got that earlier. And I always end off with 12 ammo left. My biggest gripe with this game is the swing shots. It like temporarily freezes whenever you want a swing shot. And then like yeah, see, like, it, it, it has this, this little nub of a freezy moment. Because you're trying to switch weapons mid-jump, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Wait, that wasn't five yet? Must have been four. Well, that's how we got that. I thought we didn't get it, though. Alrighty, I really don't care about you guys. You guys are just little dudes. There we go, increased our health to 45. Now we have a platform, a weird wobbly little platform. This looks dangerous, but sure. It's so bright. It, it is a light bulb though. That's the whole point of a lighthouse, man. They're just giant light bulbs. So much brighter. I really don't care about these little biter dudes. Alrighty, I wonder if we can, oh, hello big boy. Lovely seeing you here. Another thing is sometimes jumping on the grind rail doesn't work properly. Oh my god, these things again? There, you're not getting that turret. And you can't use the turret, so who cares? Oh, what are we dealing with? Oh, dropship. There we go, fuselage done. Run, I completely run. missed... No, I didn't miss that, apparently. Nice! Ender Fusion Rifle is now level 9 with a spin Wait, is it gonna end at 1850? Or is it 1950? It's gonna end at 50 something or other. Now, looks like there's dudes inside there. I need more Psychroids, man. Or Psycloids. Are they Psycloids or Psych. There they are. Nice! Triple kill. There, Baker's Dozen, nice! Oh yeah, I need to get the shield like so the, I don't have the other bot just like hammering around on my kills, man. And there we go. Oh, and we just completed another challenge. People, I am beside myself, and boy do I look good. And lock the gravity so boots. We just might have a competitor. Right, time extension and your land is my land. Which Oh, I thought it was both. Okay, so Touchy Feely, use the kill three range strikers with the wrench. Okay, chill out, kill 20 enemies in a row, ring my bell. 30 seconds remaining, the Big Bang is the arbor to kill five enemies in one shot and bombs away using the mini bomb mod. So I could actually get all those. So this one literally uses the stupid um, hover ship for one of these challenges now. I have an itchy forehead and I need to scratch game. Why do you have to make me itchy when I'm playing these stupid time challenges? And there's 53 rings! Like, holy cow! And, uh, gets. I hate these challenges. They're also hard to commentate because, like, you're just going fast. And that's all you can really do. And yes, I record all my gameplay live. There's only, like, Back in like my first, I don't know, 10, 15 videos back like in the late 2000s that I actually um, did post commentary. And then there was like two Pokemon battles because for some reason OBS was like, yeah, we're not going to record your audio, the game or voice. So it's like, yeah, about that dude. Yeah, you're not going to get any of that today, man. And this challenge is so much fun, dude. Like, whoever thought these challenges were fun were lame. There we go. Ring my bell. Ow. I hit my table. Sorry if you guys heard that. Nice. And then, last but not least, is your land is my land. Which, what were the other challenges again? Touchy feely, range striker with the wrench. Freeze mod, Arbiter, and Mini Bomb. Alrighty, so. 
Did it say... Okay, it was this one. We'll probably come back in one of the episodes to kind of clean up. So, yeah. You guys just die? Thank you. Thank you. My god, there's so many enemies and they're so big. There we go. Can you guys turn the node while I kill this big boy? Ow, big boy again. This big boy sucks so much. Alrighty, let's go on to this one. Let me guess, dropship. No big boys, right. Finally, guys, that are big boys. Right, I'm just gonna ignore the oh my god, big boys again. Two nodes, one to go, boss. Right on guys, deal with that. Okay, you know what? I gotta change up one of my weapons here. We're gonna change you into that one. That way we can do Wait, that was the challenge? Never mind. Anyways, guys, in the next episode, we be, will be going to Planet Torval, so if you guys are excited for that, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time for another exciting episode of Ratchet Deadlocked. Remember, guys, hit that bell for notifications, and, uh, yeah, you know, all that stuff, cutscene. Well, that was funny. Goodbye, guys. Mom!